Guys, not as much of a debate as usual about what goes on in the classroom at a school board meeting, but more so the bathroom and who can go in which one. I am in support of uh, birth-based gender, boys using the boys' bathroom, girls using the girls' bathroom. The Gardner Edgerton School Board debates a proposed policy facing many school districts regarding transgender students, bathroom use, and their use of preferred pronouns. We understand that these are difficult waters, maybe even treacherous waters for us. But we also want to make very clear that we are trying to bring everybody together in the very best possible way. But for multiple meetings, the issue has seemed to divide the community. They are from trans former students against the policy. But I'm older and braver now. I want to stand up for my people because that's exactly what we are, is people. And parents saying they should be notified if their child has a different gender identity or pronoun. Parents in the United States have a constitutional right to control the upbringing of their children. This is not a trivial right. It is a fundamental one. You refer to the Bible often. Where is your generosity, your courage, your love, your respect, your hope, and your peace? All but one board member seems to favor the policy, saying students can still use a gender-neutral bathroom. It's still going to put us at 90% or better of students who we're not protecting if we let a boy go into the girl's bathroom. Protecting from what? So after about three hours of debate, no decision tonight. Lauren, they decided that they want to go ahead and get some staff input before they make that final decision.